was my aunt. Jesus Christ, her Halloween decorations are falling down. And by Halloween, I mean Christmas. Ooh. I'm here by myself and it's starting to get dark out. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tanya. Welcome back. In today's video, I decided I would do a quick tutorial, if you will, on how I like to remove my gel polish. Um, I know most people and generally most instructions um, tell you to soak it off, wrap it with the acetone and aluminum foil or those little clippy thingies that you can put on. Um, I know that's pretty normal, and I have done that in the past. It definitely works. There's no question about it. However, I like to change my nail polish a lot, and I also like to wear gel polish because I'm so hard on my polish. I felt like soaking my hands in that much acetone that often was really drying out my cuticles, really making my nails brittle, and I found that they were peeling more. They were actually splitting up the sides as they were growing, and I thought, this this just isn't working. What's the easiest way I can get this gel polish off. Then I also started practicing it on my clients. Um, again, soaking the gel polish off is very time consuming. Getting all the lint free wipes, getting all the bits of tin foil, you still have to soak the pad, put it on the nail, wrap the nail up. I know you can get quite quick at it, but you still have to soak it for a good 20 minutes. And even then, it might not, might not all be off. So I did some research, came across different people saying that, yes, it's totally safe to file off your gel polish as long as you're using a base coat. <laughs> Don't do this if you're not using a base coat. And that sounds weird to say, but there are some gel polish systems where you don't need a base coat. Um, China Glaze, for example, their gel polish systems, you don't need a base coat. However, if I'm going to use it, I still put a base coat on to ensure that I can file it off and keep my natural nail protected. So I have a quick um, little tutorial video to show you how I do it. So let's uh, let's check it out. So here I'm using a 100, 180 grit file. I got this from Sally Beauty Supply, um, so it's readily available. Um, do keep in mind though that I did use this when removing my last set of acrylics, so it is nowhere near its full grit potential. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind when watching this. Um, so I'm just removing the top coat here You'll also see that I'm working on the baby finger. That's because I forgot to record um, until I got most of the way through this hand. So, little finger it is. So after removing the top coat, I will begin breaking through the color. I'm using very little pressure when doing this. I'm not pressing very hard on my nail. It's really just the weight of the file and my hand, I'm not pressing really hard on my nail at all. And once I start to see my natural nail come through, I stop in that area and move on to another one. So you'll see I'm constantly moving around, constantly changing positions, constantly stopping, dusting it off, seeing where I need to move next. You're not staying in one position at all, constantly moving around the nail. And once you start to see that peek through, you don't need to, you don't need to file in that area at all anymore. Now this is why it's important that you have a base coat, just uh, shaking out a cramp there. This is why it's important to have a base coat to protect your natural nail there. Something else that you want to keep in mind too, if I were just painting my nails, say, black after this, I wouldn't worry about removing all this 
extra bits of green here. I would just go right in with a buffer and make it nice and smooth, just polish over top. But because I'm actually going over with a light color after this, the green will absolutely show through and I don't want that at all. So I'm making sure to remove as much of the pigment as possible. And speaking of, this white block is exactly what I would use um, if I were just buffing over any remaining color. Here you can see I'm just giving a light buff over my natural nails. And this will remove any base coat that might be lifting and it will help blend in any remaining base coat into my natural nail. So just getting that little bit of green that's there and going nice and close to the cuticle. Just speed it up a little bit because why does it need to be regular speed? You, you can see what's happening. And my pinky here has a, a weird little dip as it grows out, so sometimes it's hard to get the color out of that area there. You can see there, there are little bits of base coat that are left on my nail, but because I'm polishing my nails again, I'm not worried about it. They're not lifting, so I don't care. And just cleaning it off with some gel residue cleaner. And cuticle oil. And these are my natural nails. There are no acrylics or overlay on them, except for the little bits of base coat that are remaining. Ooh, look at that fluff there. All right, it is literally as easy as that. Just make sure to protect your natural nail. When it comes down to it, protect your natural nail. And remember, this is how I like to do it. You do you, I'm not telling you what you do is wrong. I'm not telling you this is the right way. I'm telling you this is the way I like to remove gel polish on myself and the majority of my clients. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, gel polish removal journey. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Go ahead, leave some comments below. Any questions, concerns, any recommendations you might have, I'd love to hear it. I'll see you later, bye.